sequential challenges posed by a resurgent Russia and rising China. The president plans to bring troops home by the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Biden announced those plans in the same White House treaty room where President George W. Bush announced the beginning of the war. Yeah, Carly Van Cleve talked with a veteran here in Fort Wayne who served there himself. Time to end the forever war. President Joe Biden says he's bringing home U.S. troops in Afghanistan by September 11th. On the 20th anniversary of the attack on the World Trade Center. We cannot continue the cycle of extending or expanding our military presence in Afghanistan, hoping to create ideal conditions for the withdrawal and expecting a different result. It would bring a lot of people a lot of joy and a lot of a lot of happiness in family members, especially. Jason Barbnicht is a retired master sergeant. I started active duty Marine Corps uh, 1990. He spent part of his 30 year career in the military in Afghanistan. Every time we come home or withdraw from a theater, it's really a small victory. Barbnick lives in Fort Wayne now with his wife and two sons. His oldest served in Afghanistan beside him. It never ends, it doesn't seem like. So it, I don't get my hopes up when any president says, hey, I'm bringing the troops home, no more war. He says he's skeptical the withdrawal will happen on the president's new timeline. Until there's a really good permanent way to restore order overseas, I'm afraid we'll continuously go over and come back, go over, come back, and it'll just be a vicious cycle that we have to do. It's not that easy, he says. From his experience there, he thinks it would be responsible to still have a military base and not remove all U.S. forces at once. I mean, everybody wants to be home at the end of the day and say mission accomplished. Now let's just train for if something happens again. President Biden says some U.S. troops will remain to protect diplomats, but most of the withdrawal will begin May 1st. Barbnik says the past has taught him to wait and see. So to say everybody will be home by this September, it sounds great, but I don't think it's a true goal. Now, we received a statement from Representative Jim Banks, who also served in Afghanistan. He credits President Trump.